Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, members of council, administration, and members of the audience, as well as those watching us on the tube. Anyhow, we'll call this meeting to order. May I have a roll call? Yeah. Mayor Lowry. Councilman Grimm. I'm here. Councilwoman Eggleston. Here. Councilman Nowakowski. Here. Councilman Cobb. Here. Councilman Rogold. Here. Vice Mayor Cook. Here. Six members present. All right, and with that, the invocation will be by Councilman Cobb. Here, Father, give us the strength to do what's right for our citizens in our community. Also watch over our first responders, our fire, and the EMS, and our deputies. And also, at this time, I ask that you wrap your arms around the family of Mr. Lindsay, who was a council member and vice mayor here, and comfort him and help him get through this sad time. I'm going to ask after I say amen, we have a moment to silence Mr. Lindsay's wife. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, my. And with that, the minutes will do in the regular session. As far as I know, we have no communications. City managers report regular sessions. Comments from the audience. <laughs> You have anything, Lynn? I'm going to be good this time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Committee reports. None. Resolutions and the ordinance will both be in uh, regular session. And Mr. Bridge, do you want to go over the legislation? Uh, th yeah, I would love to. Uh, thank you, Vice Mayor Cook, members of council, members of the Audit and Sports Administration. Uh, so tonight we have resolution 2021-16R. Uh, that was introduction, public hearing, and action tonight. And that is a resolution accepting the official certificate of estimated resources for 2022, along with the tax year 2022 rates and amounts. Certification from the Clark County Budget Commission. What this resolution does is this is our first piece of actually starting our 22 operating budget. We take this uh, form that they give us and we work these numbers into what we already have. So in a, uh, hopefully here in a couple uh, weeks, months, you guys will get your first look at that after Ms. Harris gets done plugging away at these numbers. But that's a yearly ordinance that we do, I mean, resolution that we do every year. Uh, for the ordinances, we have 2021-36. Uh, that's public hearing and action tonight. That was actually introduced on, uh, I should say, 9-7. I do apologize about that. Um, an ordinance establishing a schedule of fines and cost and bail bond schedule for the city's mayor's court. Uh, so I said when we introduced that last week, there'll be quite a few amendments. So um, if you notice that on the ordinance, there's bolded items and not bolded items. The bolded items were clearly the ones that we changed. Um, when we added them up, about five pages worth of changes. They usually just center around a Ohio Revised Code section, as I previously stated. Some of these were like, uh, if you see, it says 4511.3 to 4511.30. When we did these on an Excel sheet, by nature, it takes off the zero. So we didn't catch that. So really those were correct the first time around, but Excel took off the zero. Um, and when you're doing codified on code, <coughs> that zero makes a big difference. Um, so what we'll do for this tonight, if it's okay with council, I don't wanna have to read verbatim this, these five pages. So I have to talk with the clerk. Um, you guys will be instructed to approve as amended per the bolded items on the ordinance. Then I'll submit this with Mrs. Burner so she can put it in with the minutes. Um, but that fine schedule is pretty solid at this point in time. Uh, so once we get that approved, uh, hopefully early October, I mean late October, early November, we can get some cases in there. Uh, but this is the last piece that we've done. So any questions on that particular legislation piece? 
Nope. All right. And then we have ordinance 2021-37E. That is introduction of public and hearing action tonight. That is an ordinance authorizing the expenditure of funds of over $20,000 and authorizing the city manager to, to enter into an agreement for ITTASS and compliance services and declaring emergency. Uh, first off, ITASS means IT as a service. Um, so what we're trying to do here is just really get our IT uh, work that we do with the bridge group streamlined uh, under one, one guiding contract. And also too, we wanna beef it up a little bit for the uh, new requirements for the liability insurance. Uh, due to the timing of the deadline of that application, we would like to make this emergency. And that's all for the legislation tonight. Okay. I guess we'll open it up for discussion in regards to uh, city of New Carlisle interest. Does anybody got anything? Okay, we're going to bring it over to me. All right. I've got several things I'm going to bring up regular meeting, too. So. Other than that. Are we going to have streets coming before the department? They're, they're trying. It should be um, tomorrow, I think, they're starting. We usually do every year before that, especially before that one. But last year it was like a month before. Sure. Are they going to put up signs before they come to this? Um, no, they're not. They just try to start early on Main Street when nobody's parked there, for the most part, except for I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you see that here. <laughs> um, but well, I'm the one that screws up the whole works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they'll have two guys in. There's going to be a kind of a newer guy and a seasoned guy. But they're, I think they're starting tomorrow or the next day and have it done by next Tuesday or Wednesday. It's a whole scheduling thing this year. Anyone else? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Else, I guess we'll adjourn the work day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and answer some of these questions. I have some questions that we're going to discuss in the regular session now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Save time. Yeah, 50 minutes. Go ahead. Um, <clears throat> I know. Don't, Aren't we usually do uh, beggar's night the last Saturday of October? That is set by the county. I know it's set by yeah. the county. We have right to look at right? I mean, you could if you wanted. Okay. Be, you know, the mm -hmm. I heard it was the 30th. It set to set October 30th. The Saturday. The Saturday. The Saturday. I, you know, you know, I just heard it this morning. Literally everybody on Facebook wanting to know. They were asking early, late last week. I didn't have an answer. So did she just release it? <clears throat> Uh, I've heard, heard the 30th too. I heard the 30th also. I can't. But they just council want to have it on. The 30th. Oh, the 30th. Well, I'll just stick with the 30th. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to make sure that mm -hmm. uh, last year they, they wanted it on the actual day of the night. Yeah, they yeah. yeah. To, to the gotcha. Mm -hmm. Did the sheriff say anything? Yeah. I I heard it was. I'm, I would assume it'd be the third. Yeah. So, yeah, it's something I'll find out for the we especially. Me, but we probably should. You just want to go ahead and set it for the thirtieth now and be done. Yeah. So just a reminder that in regular sessions. Six to eight normal six times. On Saturday. Okay. We'll have to make mission that regular session. That way we can just get it out and get it, because people's been blowing up the city phones, so we'll be honest with you. Yeah. Oh, I understand. Yeah. So is it beggars night or trick or treat? Six to one half to the other. You made it long. 10, 30, 6 p.m. Beggars, not trick. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. I'm sorry. That's all right. No problem. Oh, I have a question for you, Mr. Roadwald. Yes. Did um, April had texted me about some stuff that's in our swimming pool? Yes, I'm still waiting to get back from the football Okay, is that who it normally goes to, or does it go to? Uh, she told me she had some stuff. I you know she was going to throw away, and I said, "Well, let me talk to the football people and see." Probably we only have one, literally one home game. <laughs> 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, That'll do it. We have one this okay. weekend, plus we have cheer competition. Our, our games are late this weekend. Yes, it is, it's because it's homecoming. What did you say? We Where's it at this weekend? It, Graham said they would have it. So, but cheer competition is done on Sunday. Are you the Wii Arrows, the ones you work with? Or are you talking about high school football? No, we're the company you work with. Okay. We're part, we're in, we're, we're partnered with the high school. No, okay. Um, the Wii Arrows are part playing. Oh, okay. Um, okay. South of Fort. Okay. Um, we, we are what used to be the new club. We're now the company you football for. Okay. Oh, so, yeah. uh, okay. So, um, we play at the high school. We get to use their fields, their facilities, just not the concession stand. Okay. Okay. Do the high school? They won't know the high school, though. Don't they make you think? Mm -hmm. okay. Well, let us know. I will. Okay. I just have to leave. I don't think the last one game. No, we didn't leave the last one. Okay. I'm going to say, whatever it is. Well, I'm going to keep all the uh, ice. Mm -hmm. You guys can have the other stuff. I thought we wouldn't have the ice. No, I mean, ice cream. We should have a way to store that. Oh, no, I'll give them out to city staff. Yeah. Let's give them the time. I told, I told her the ice cream was out. We could use that. And I don't know the other Something like the other chips and stuff and the candy. Does she happen to mention what was in there? Well, All she said to me was like $10 to go to the box and stuff. She's fired. Yes, I'm begging. I know when we did our shopping, we had a terrible time finding chips and candy. Like, give me a second. While you're doing that, yes, please. really? Yeah, Go ahead, Chief. I, mean, uh, I just checked Chief time. King of Bethel Township, and he said there's, as far as he knows, it is the 30th. Okay. Okay. Countywide or just mm -hmm. yeah. Bethel Township? Probably not, because there's just not enough to really go around. There's only like 13 or 14 together, so I mean, just I take it up to the city building and, and give it out. And that way. They're they're, uh, they're like little young kids. Jerry's little. Yeah, they're just little city soldiers. I don't know if they're even still good or not. They might be freezer burned by then. I have no idea. Is there a lot of candy? You said you know, there's candy bars or not? I think there's a little bit, but yeah, I'm not sure. I gotta go down there and look. Yeah. Is there anything that fire and police could hand out on beggars night? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I'll find out. Okay, has anybody got anything else? If not, I guess I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. You got all the windows up in there, but station. Yeah. First and second. Councilman Rosewald? Yes. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Councilwoman Okowski? Yes. Councilman Cobb? Yes. Motion to adjourn, accepted 6 0.